In this video, we'll be discussing the mechanical advantage of a pry bar. An example question could read, find the overall length of the pry bar if the distance from the fulcrum to the tip of the pry bar where the load is placed is 1.4 inches, the load we're lifting is 2,000 pounds, and the effort applied on the handle is 190 pounds. We need to find the overall length. First thing I would do is record the things we know. So we do know that our load was 2,000 pounds. It says in the question, the distance from the tip of the pry bar to the fulcrum, or the point at which the pry bar rotates, is 1.4 inches. We call that our load distance. The last thing that question says is that our effort applied in the handle is 190 pounds. Showing the diagram here, we can see we have our load, we have an effort, we have the distance from the fulcrum to the load, but we don't have the distance from the effort to the load. We call this the effort distance. This is what we're looking for and we need to find. So the formula I'll be using is effort distance times effort is equal to the load distance times the load. Let's fill in what information we know. The effort distance, that's what we're looking for. Our effort, 190. Our load distance is 1.4 and our load is 2,000 pounds. I need to isolate our effort distance all by itself on this side of our, our equation. We can do that by dividing both sides by 190. That will cancel there and leave us with 190 on this side. We could rewrite that as effort distance is 1.4 times 2,000 divided by 190. Solving this would give us 14.74 inches as our effort distance so here. The question does read what is the overall distance or the overall length of the pry bar. We need to add our load distance and our effort distance together. So if I add 1.4 to this, it will give me an answer 16.1, it can round up to 1.4. That's the overall length of our pry bar. Thanks for watching.